Hey guys, today I to play Banjo Kazooie. This is probably the most well known, well, the most well known non Mario platformer on the N64. Came out in 1998, um, developed by Rare, uh, who is a very well known um, developer at this time for Nintendo. Um, I think this was right after they developed Donkey Kong Country, they won, went on to develop Banjo Kazooie. So, yeah, let's check it out. It's been a while since I played this game. Of course, I know about this game, it's very famous, but. Um, it's been a long time since I played it. Yeah, my elementary school friend used to own it in 64, so we would go to his place to play games and stuff, so it's been quite a while. Yeah, I think this is probably the best platformer that's not Super Mario 64 on the uh, N64. Oh, is this the black the witch here? Why is the cauldron talking? What the heck? The cauldron talks back. Oh my god. It's just a mirror mirror on the wall thing. <laughs> what? That's like a chipmunk. Not even a girl. It's a chipmunk. Tootie. She's cute and kind. What is this? That's, that's not even human. That's like a... I mean, I know Banjo Kazooie. I don't even know what animal it is, actually. But it's um, it's not a human, right? How can this human be be considered? <laughs> I mean, are, are we ranking non-humans based on their looks? Are we, are we ranking like animals? Like, hey, this cat is sexier than this dog, or something. Like, you you ranking like animals based on their looks? <laughs> I don't even know how you can compare a non-human to a human in looks, but okay. Appearance-wise. It's like, hey, you're uh, not as pretty as this uh, animal here. <laughs> Does that even make sense? So I, I still don't know what this animal is. Uh, what's Banjo Kazooie? What type of animal is he, anyways? I know that's a bird, obviously, but but what's Banjo? I guess that's Kazooie. Is Kazooie the bird? And Kazooie the uh, Kazooie's the bird, and Banjo is that animal that's sleeping, right? I still don't know what banjo is, but... It's a mole? This guy's a mole. Okay, I don't know what Tootie is. But it's a bear, I guess? It's like an upright bear? Is, is banjo a bear? I don't even know how you can compare a bear's looks to a human's, but okay. But then again, it's a game, and then she's got pig pigtails, even though she's a bear. I mean, an animal with pigtails. Does that even make sense? Yeah, she's a bear. So somehow a bear is being compared to a human. But maybe that's the point, because she's an ugly witch, so she's she's getting compared to a bear in appearance. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Banjo's a bear. So now we got that established. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can see why this is from Rare, the same developers as Donkey Kong Country. Because, yeah, again, you're playing as a... Um, but actually, during this time, there's a lot of anthropomorphic animals around. So it's like Banjo is like hardly the only anthropomorphic animal, right? This, this entire 90s era is like full of anthropomorphic animals. It started out with Sonic, actually. Sonic made these anthropomorphic, like, super cool animals, like, really popular. And then you had, like, all these other animals that got popular, like, mascot animals, right? So yeah, Jax, the gecko, for example. Um, yeah, Banjo, obviously, Crash Bandicoot. Conquer, right, from Conquer's Fur Day. So, like, so many of these, like, these extreme attitude animals <laughs> back in the 90s. Yeah, anthropomorphic, extreme cool attitude animals. That was just, just such a thing in the 90s, you know? So popular. 
Donkey Kong obviously being another one of them. I'm, I'm good enough, I'm good enough. Yeah, I know how to play a 3D platformer. Like, back when this game was new in 1998, I guess there was a lot of people that still hadn't played Super Mario 64, for whatever reason, but... Yeah. Oh, shoot. How do I even do battle against these guys? What's my attack? I mean, don't have an attack yet. Oh yeah, Earthworm Jim, I guess you can consider another anthropomorphic cool cool attitude animal. So many of those back then. They all came out after Sonic the Hedgehog got popular, I think. What's my attack button here? What's this? A, what's this a, a carrot? I'm attacking uh, carrots as enemies, huh? Yeah, okay, I guess my roll is my attack. Mm -hmm, honeycomb. Love that honey at least. Get that honeycomb, baby. Mmm, I remember eating honeycomb for breakfast. Wait, honey and oats is honey nut churros. My bad, I'm getting confused. Honeycomb is another cereal. <laughs> yeah, honeycomb and honey nut churros are different cereals. They're both good. Uh, oh man, I miss honeycomb actually. That brings me back. <laughs> Eating honeycomb for breakfast. No, this is my house, right? I'm going backwards. Why does he have a backpack? Oh, that's for the bird. Kazooie, I think. How does Kazooie help me? He helps me fly? Right. If somehow a bird can pick up a bear and be able to fly, okay. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. The platforming. Oh yeah, Spyro the Dragon is another one. That's another mascot animal with so many of them. Yeah, I got the honeycomb. Oh, is, that a, is that a cauliflower cabbage? Cauliflower? Hmm. Okay, where am I supposed to go here? Gruntilda. Oh, okay. It's, that's her, the witch's name. Kind of stereotypically. Like Hilda, Gruntilda, whatever. Trying to like exchange bodies with a bear. It's just funny that this witch is like, she thinks this bear is the most beautiful. <laughs> she has to like switch faces or whatever with a bear. It's 
reminds me of Super Mario 64 with this painting here. Can I jump inside the painting? No. <laughs> it's like, reminds me of Super Mario 64. Oh no. Can I go that way? Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you will need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Oh, okay, so this is like Super Mario 64. You jump into the picture, right? Oh no. It's like this. Oh, okay, you gotta put it back then. Okay, so that needs one jigsaw piece. <clears throat> okay, let's go back. Whoever thought that a bear with a bird in its backpack would be uh, so popular? Okay, so there's a jigsaw piece close by or something? Near the lair entrance. Nope. I don't see anything here. Oh, okay, maybe it's just... Missed a spot, maybe. Maybe it's here? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Nice jigsaw piece. What the heck? Okay, so this is like uh, a star in Super Mario Brother in Super Mario 64, right? Yeah, it's like finding a star in Super Mario 64, which unlocks these paintings, which you can, I guess, jump into just like you can with Super Mario 64. So let's go here. Go back to um, that painting again. Mumbo's Mountain. Okay. So now you just gotta go here. Now it's open. Alright, so yeah, I guess it's, it's really similar to Super Mario 64 in the sense that you can unlock worlds and you go into them, it's like a completely different world. Well, it's a different world, right? So, you have like an overworld and then you have a, a stage world. But this was the norm for a lot of uh, super, uh, like N64 era platformers, and even Diddy Kong Racing had this, and that was a racing game, so... Yeah, I guess it's kind of the norm. And the honeycombs are actually my health bar. <laughs> Just instead of coins, we get honeycombs. What the heck? Who's throwing that stuff? Is that Donkey Kong? This looks like Diddy Kong here. This looks like Diddy Kong. Actually, Banjo was in, uh, was Banjo in Diddy Kong Racing? I think he might have been. I know there's also a Banjo Kazooie racing game called Banjo Pilot. I played that as well. Me hit bear with orange. Orange. Okay, let me go get up. Bear's climb. Better get out here. Bear. Okay, got the jigsaw piece. 
ten of us in each world. That's quite a bit. Quite a bit. You gotta find ten jigsaw pieces in each world. Well, I'm smarter than the average bear. Let's see how far I get. I'm smarter than the average bear. Not enough tokens. What's it about these fetch quests, man? So many of these uh, 3D platformers back in the 90s, it's all about fetch quests. Feed us with nice blue stones. Okay. That's a bit of Banjo Kazooie here for the N64. Uh, yeah, this is often considered probably one of the best platformers on the N64. Uh, best 3D platformers, of course, uh, along with Super Mario World. I mean, Super Mario 64. So, yeah, generally people think of Super Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie as the top 3D platformers on the N64. So, and just two of the best 3D platformers of that era, not just on the N64, right? So, yep, uh, I can see that this plays pretty similarly to, to Mario 64 in many ways. 
I mean, it's obviously a bit different. You're you're a bear with a bird on his on, in a backpack, but but still, um, a lot of the controls I guess are fairly similar. It's got a nice you know overworld with different stages and levels you got to beat, um, and you're rescuing um, your sister instead of a princess. So, anyways, there's definitely some similarities uh, all around. Yeah, it's a very nice. 3D platformer for that era. So yeah, definitely one of the most well-known games from the N64, and just one of the uh, best 3D platformers of the era, Banjo-Kazooie. So, so guys, thanks for watching.